Hi everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and today we're making our favorite three cheese lasagna. This is so saucy, beefy, and cheesy, plus it's easy and better than any restaurant lasagna. We'll start with the pasta. Place nine lasagna noodles into a pot of salted water and cook until al dente according to the package instructions. Al dente means firm to the bite, and don't overcook your noodles because they will still soften up a bit when you bake the lasagna. Drain the noodles, then add cold water to stop the cooking process and to keep them from sticking together. Usually while the noodles are cooking, I'll make the meat sauce. In a deep pan over medium high heat, add one tablespoon of olive oil, then one pound of ground beef and one small diced onion. Saute for five minutes or until the meat is no longer pink. Add two large minced garlic cloves and cook another minute or until fragrant. Then add one fourth cup of good red wine and saute until mostly evaporated. And if you don't have red wine on hand, you can substitute with beef broth. Now add 24 ounces or three cups of your favorite marinara sauce, either homemade or store-bought. Season with half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, a quarter teaspoon of dried thyme, half a teaspoon of sugar, and two tablespoons of parsley. Bring that to a simmer, then cover and cook on low heat for five minutes while you make your cheese sauce. In a large mixing bowl, combine 16 ounces of cottage cheese, 15 ounces of ricotta cheese, one cup of shredded mozzarella, one large egg, and two tablespoons of finely chopped parsley. Mix until it's well blended. Everything's ready and now we can assemble the lasagna. In a deep 9 by 13 casserole dish, spread half a cup of the meat sauce evenly over the bottom and cover that with three lasagna noodles. Now add one third of the remaining meat sauce and sprinkle the top with one cup of mozzarella cheese. Next, spoon on half of the cheese sauce and spread evenly. Repeat the process until you have three layers of noodles. This is a good time to preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Top the last layer of noodles with the remaining meat sauce and cover it with one cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. Adding the cheese on top forms a crust that makes this lasagna supremely juicy. You'll need to cover and bake this casserole, so prepare a large sheet of foil. Also very important, to keep the cheese from sticking to the foil, poke 8 to 10 toothpicks evenly over the top of the lasagna, then loosely cover with the foil and seal the edges. Bake at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 minutes. Then remove the foil and set the oven to broil for three to five minutes or until the cheese is golden brown. Now for the hardest part, you wanna let the lasagna cool for 30 minutes in the pan for it to set and become much easier to slice and it is hard to wait for lasagna. All right, you're supposed to wait about 30 minutes for this to rest so that you don't eat it when it's blazing hot, but... <laughs> I just can't wait anymore. So I'm gonna get this party started because I cannot resist a cheesy, juicy, loaded lasagna. <laughs> and of course, take out the toothpicks. Do your family a favor and don't leave the toothpicks in. That would result in unpleasant situations. <laughs> oh man. Ooh, a little bit of meat sauce on that one. <laughs> Oh, mm -mm -mm. wow. Okay, and you all know how I feel about garnish, so we're gonna add some garnish to this. Just a little bit of fresh parsley, because there's fresh parsley inside. There should be fresh parsley on top, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Especially if you're serving this for the holidays. It's like the easiest thing you can do to fancy up a dish. Okay. <laughs> now we've got it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna cut into this because I am so hungry for it. So here we go. Oh, and this is irresistibly cheesy, which means my kids love it, of course. Okay, we're gonna get the biggest piece because that is how we roll. Okay. Look at that cheese pull. 
Oh, <laughs> hubba hubba. <laughs> mm. Oh my goodness. Look at those layers. This is a loaded lasagna. Yum, yum. Okay, here we go. Enough chatter. Less talk and more eating. I'm not exaggerating when I say that that is the best lasagna that I have ever tried. <laughs> it beats restaurant versions all day long because it is so juicy and moist. And the flavor, mm, I mean, you just cannot beat a homemade lasagna. This is delicious. And it refrigerates and freezes well, so you can make it ahead because it makes a big old batch. This is definitely a family favorite and a keeper of a recipe. I make this over and over and over because everybody loves it. <laughs> if you guys like this recipe, give me a great big thumbs up below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching. Before you run off, if you guys are looking for more easy, family-friendly recipes, check out some of our favorites right over there and right down there. And click below to subscribe. And when you do, click that little bell icon so you get notifications every time we post a new recipe. We'll see you next time.